All right. Well, then, what did you guys bring for the docket? What kind of what kind of gimmicks do you have in your pocket? <laughs> uh, not much, but we did have a one interesting thing that we never actually asked the server about at a dinner. It's an oh. important question. <laughs> it, it was Huey. I'm enraptured. I'm Shade so ready for it. it. Huey, right? So I was going to make an argument about how many syllables are in a word. Which which just word? any word? Just in no general. no a specific word. Huey, how many syllables? Two two. That's that's right. That, yeah, sorry, sorry. How many? I I, I would say two. <laughs> <laughs> See, I was making an argument that because the Y is pretty soft, and if you were to imagine saying the word in like pretty much any other language, it would not be two. It would be like hui. And yeah, and, <laughs> yeah. And then, in another language, I buy that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I feel like his question was in English. I was prepared to try and say Huey with one syllable, but you <laughs> nailed it. That's pretty much how it was. Yeah, going. that's that's how I responded to her with exactly <laughs> that sound. I was like, no, what you just described of another another language is if we're trying to do it like that, it doesn't sound like the word we're trying to do, which is Huey. Like it's just yeah. it's no. It's, it's like the sound of mild excitement. And that tr well and truly is close to the end of our docket that we came unaware of and unprepared for. Yeah, well, you know. <laughs> you know, listen, you're not the only ones who are unprepared. Oh, uh, oh yeah. I, I guess uh, I've had random thoughts of theories. That Hell yeah. Okay. Theories. Let's so, hear them. So I've noticed a decent amount of sample size evidence of uh, people over the age of 50. Yeah. Always. When they first meet a new cat, mm -hmm. it's a girl. When they've first well, cats are girls, dogs, dogs are boys. We know that. Yeah. Ex that's my point. That's, that's just science. That's exactly my, <laughs> okay, that's exactly <laughs> my point. But anybody over a certain age, knee jerk, and even after learning, it's a boy cat, it's a girl dog, etc. They'll still be like, dog. Oh, he's so cute. Cat. Oh, she's gorgeous. And it's 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 something I've noticed of a certain age group that will always do that so i feel like there's a clear exception to this rule in cat people and dog people if you're like a hardcore cat person then like you're not gonna care about what gender of a dog is and like you're gonna be open-minded about cats and vice versa for the hardcore dog people so she sounds like a bit of a cat supremacist instead of an equalist <laughs> cat supremacy <laughs> An equist, like a horse person? Equalist. <laughs> if those people, like if you're a horse person, you can get out. Like, <laughs> I said, not welcome at this show. I said equalist. Those oh, okay. people aren't welcome here. I remember I read the email. Oh, okay. <laughs> you read the email. You just took like three weeks to respond to it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's, exactly it's okay. Right. You guys kept us guessing, which was good. You kept us guessing up until the moment I said, do you are want your, to come on stage? Are your toes stronger now? Because we kept you on them. I uh, I got really bad joints, so I think I just kind of strained my toes. Like, they just hurt worse than ever now. <laughs> did you stay on them, though? Uh, I, I'm kind of I'm kind of still on Perfect. them. Perfect. You're still on your toes, which means we did our job. Oh, okay. Oh, man. Been bamboozled here. If you're still on your toes, that's probably why you have bad joints. That's correct. Well, you guys never gave me a reason to get off them. That's what he's saying. Yeah, but like, like a reason that would work for you. Because frankly, our, our, us, a lot of others may have uh, not stayed on their toes, but I guess you love us so much that you stayed on them, even to right now, which is, that's a little hurtful. All right. Okay, thanks. I'll flatten them up now. Okay, I'm beginning yeah. to relax. Uh, <laughs> birds, though. Birds are fucking crazy. So the... <laughs> But because I knew they somebody sure are who, fucking crazy, crazy, <laughs> wild. I had I knew somebody who like owned a parrot uh, for like a decade or whatever and was like, yeah. So for the longest time, I was like, yeah, this is my parrot. His name is, you know, like Steve, let's say it was and was like, oh, yeah, we're starting to think maybe maybe it's a female parrot. Like you just don't really know. It's, oh, just, it's just kind of a crapshoot what your parrot is. Is this a Mad Libs yeah. delivery? It sure is. I'll so, believe it when I see sorry, it. Sorry, sorry. Back, back on target. No, that's pretty much it. Like, it's it's a whole other rabbit hole after the cat-dog thing. It's just like, what's well, this bird? Don't know. Might lay an egg, might not. Uh, I do understand that the cat-dog debate is inherently specious to every other species. I'm aware. Okay, but but birds are like feathery lizards. Like they don't have like the same like parts that. Oh yeah, they got cloacas. Yeah. Yeah, it's just like an all-in-one, like whole. Yeah. Sitch. Cloacas are wild. Like it's just they are. It's, you just don't know what's coming out the, down the chute. <laughs> Which is I don't know. It keeps you in your toes, right? And you can take bets. 
That could be the casino game. Yeah. You gamble well, on what's going to come out. But what fucked me up about this parrot was like, she was just like, it's kind of ambivalent. We think it's female. We're just, we're just used to it being male. Like, I don't know. I guess it's just no way of knowing unless you like try to breed it. Respect. 